Hi, this is a short how-to video by the Specialized Assistive Technology Center from SPD. The video will demonstrate on how to use the PIN function in Microsoft Teams meeting for your telepractice sessions. Let's get started now. During an ongoing meeting, you may like to pin an attendee, for example, your therapist. Pinning the therapist or attendee ensures that they remain visible at all times on the screen. To do this, you will need to locate the attendee's name on the screen and then press the three dots of their ellipsis or menu. Several functions will pop up, one of which is the pin function. On pressing it, the attendee will be pinned and will remain on the larger screen for as long as they are pinned. When using the Teams meeting on a tablet or phone, an alternate way to pin is to long press the photo of the attendee you wish to pin. The pin option will pop up and then the person can be pinned. Please note that during the action of screen sharing, the pin function will not be applicable. You can unpin an attendee or the trainer by redoing or undoing the same action and look for the unpin function. So you'd go to the person's menu by pressing the ellipsis to the three dots and locate the unpin function. The pin function is most useful when you want to view only one attendee, such as your trainer, but there are more than one attendees present. To do so, you will locate the picture of the trainer or any attendee you wish to pin. Go to their menu via the three dots or ellipsis and then pin the picture. The attendee that was pinned, such as your trainer or therapist, will always be in view as a larger picture, even when the other attendees are speaking. You may be required to pin more than one attendee during the telepractice session. For example, if you need to view two trainers, for this, after you have pinned one attendee, open the participants list, locate the second attendee you want to pin as well, and left click on the ellipsis or the three dots to pin them. Both the attendees will remain as larger pictures during the rest of the session unless you unpin them. When there is a need to pin the trainer and their extra camera, you can repeat the same action as we just did. In this case, you will pin the pictures of the trainer or therapist as well as the picture of what their second or extra camera is showing. In this picture, you can see the extra camera is showing an iPad. I hope this how-to video on using the pin function will help your telepractice experience with us.